Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, should the vault ages high with Shono here, about to give you a daily vlog for Thursday, December 24th, one day before Christmas. And as you guys can see right here, this is going to be a future project of mine on Sunday, December 27th. I'm going to be taking the day off from actually doing streaming for the most part. I might still do John Milani's challenge late at night, Sunday. But I'm going to take the day off in order to review these four headsets. This is the newest pickup from Razer. It's the Razer Black Shark V2. And if we're comparing it to the Razer Nari Ultimate, my god, that headset is miles better. No, you don't get the cool looking RGB from this headset. But at the same time, what is the point of RGB in a headset you can't even see? If you're around other people, yeah, it looks cool. But we're going to be doing an audio test. We're also going to be doing a microphone test on all four of these headsets. And we're going to see how much of a pain in the ass it is to use all four of these headsets on a PlayStation 5, on an Xbox One, a PlayStation 4, and a Nintendo Switch. I'm going to spend a good part of my day Sunday making a tech review on all four of these headsets. For those of you guys that have not been following the Hollywood Shono Tech Reviews channel, I did a review on all three of these headsets and the video had over 3,000 views a little channel with about 205 subs got over 3,000 views on this one little video so I feel that if I expand my horizons and add in a fourth headset we might even get better results because there are some Razer fanatics out there that want to know which headset is better? Well, I'm going to give them that review. Now that we got the little plug of what I'm going to be doing this weekend and why I'm probably not going to be streaming much on Sunday till later at night, I want to wish all the viewers a very Merry Christmas. I did play the Genshin Impact update a little bit yesterday. I haven't gotten the Statue of the Seven yet. However, I did learn some of the land, and it's actually pretty cool, the little expansion that they did. They added another little area. It's not a major area. Even a minor area is pretty cool, and if they give you a way to detect chests from that new dragon area, that's pretty cool. And I like it when a game company makes minor little updates because there are various levels of players out there. I'm AR42, and before the update, I felt like I pretty much did everything I could but now I have a little bit more to explore and this also opens up the door for more chests down the road. Also for new players in Genshin Impact you need to make it a priority. When Battleground Medic told me that he's only rep 2 in Leeway and Mondstadt it kind of baffled me because it's so easy to do the commissions and it's pretty easy to do the kill use the elemental skill and other things so hopefully once he gets his laptop for Boxing Day it's going to be a little bit of a better experience. Now also here on my desk you could see that I have currently an old 28 inch Samsung monitor and I have my LG 34 inch widescreen monitor. Over the next week I am going to have a Samsung Odyssey G7 32 inch on the desk and a 34 inch LG monitor. Now the reason I'm doing that is because it's supposed to be a much brighter monitor. It's 240 hertz. This is not 2017 where 60 hertz is acceptable and I know that's a little bit of a purchase that I don't need to make. I already have two monitors. However, when I'm doing the laptop streams outside or at other people's houses, I have one monitor. Now I'll have an extra monitor I can bring around other people's houses. I'll have a monitor that I can just sport around. If people want to bring their console over, I'll have an extra monitor to use. So they're not tying up one of my main monitors. So we're going to give it a go. I'm going to try this monitor. I'm probably going to get yelled at. Like, you don't need a monitor. You don't need a monitor. My money, my choice. Just like Beth always says when she shows off her tattoos, which I don't like. My body, my choice. I don't like it. I wish she would have got it hidden somewhere I don't have to see it every time I'm with her. But it's her choice. I don't like tattoos, so don't show me your tattoos. I don't want to see them. Now with that said, for the first part of the day, I'm going to be streaming Genshin Impact. I want to check out that whole new area. I want to see how hard it is to get the Statue of the Seven fully unlocked because I went up there earlier last night. I couldn't figure it out. So hopefully if we get a few more hours in the game, we'll be able to do that. Also, at around 6, maybe 7, because I'm going to be a little bit late getting on Genshin, we're going to play Mortal Kombat Mobile for about 4 hours. How long we play it tonight depends on donations. If I get no donation, we're getting off right at 10 o'clock. Mortal Kombat Mobile will not not be coming back to the channel until they make significant changes to the game meaning stop offering fucking diamond characters and new towers we don't want new towers we want new game modes that are permanent to the game these towers get boring so quick because it's all paywall if you don't spend money on the game you're gonna have to slog and struggle and most people don't have maxed out diamond lukang 
most people don't have diamond spec op scorpion so they look to people like me that can handle the harder fights with a weaker roster and that's where man with no games info is a little bit off because not everybody is going to have the roster he does so when you're clearing like tower 160 180 190 whatever with your diamond characters that doesn't mean as much as a progressing player that struggles even more than you and i think that's where your content is a little bit lacking if you really want to impress the viewers do it on the first run no gear with gold that is where your content is lacking that's my opinion i still love you and i still think you're a great guy but you need to realize that you can't do it with your best roster you're gonna have to challenge yourself and slog it if you want to gain the trust of new viewers however i will be playing mortal Kombat mobile more than likely i'm going to be doing the challenge if you want me to play faction wars Open your wallets, and we'll make it happen. I'm also doing the Mortal Kombat Mobile and Injustice streams kind of as a way people that actually want to check out my content can donate. And I know it's a little bit selfish and greedy of me. However, at the same time, I'm not working. This is my source of income, and I rely on donations to survive, as I tell people on the main channel in every single video. And almost nobody has donated lately, which is why I have to push the envelope of we have to push donations again. But I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Thank you guys for putting up with me for almost eight years as a content creator. Hopefully 2021 is a better year. Hopefully I can get a little bit more motivated to do YouTube. And maybe that'll mean stop doing the editing on daily vlogs and just post the rough draft with me breathing hard in between sentences, which does not sound cool. Trust me, it does not. But if that's what you guys want to hear, then, hey, we can always commit to no editing in 2021 to save the time. I don't have to proxy videos because it takes me over an hour to edit an eight-minute daily vlog. It's not so much the editing. If I don't proxy the video in Sony Vegas, then it'll crash, causing problems. But thank you guys for watching this daily vlog. Merry Christmas. We'll see you guys tomorrow with Beth for the holiday daily vlog. Do look on the main channel for both Jeopardy and Injustice 1 on Friday.